Hello there, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in a mod I normally don't play, The Victory of the Dual Monarchy, What If Austria-Hungary Won World War I mod, and obviously we're going to be playing as the United States of Hungary, and Iron Man mode is not recommended apparently, and we have custom game rules, which I, to be honest, this is my first campaign in this mod, I've never played it, and I've not even tried it off screen, but here we go. So we're using the special Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod, we're also using not Old World Blues, but player-led peace conferences, state transfer tool mod, as well as colored buttons and colored events. So, what if Austria-Hungary won World War I? Well, it's very weird, at least it looks weird. Look how big Greece is. Look, we got Greece. They own a good chunk of what was Turkey, or the Ottoman Empire. They're still here. Armenia's looking nice and thick. I want to read some of the uh, FAQs. Cool. List, what countries do you recommend playing? Russia, Austria, Hungary, and Serbia. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Cool. And actually, does Armenia have a unique focus tree? Because they seem kind of thick. No, it doesn't look like it, but that's okay. Let's do, begin with ours. We have a colonial policy. We've got political reforms. Select, not selecting this focus or selecting the wrong options might cause uprising to erupt within different parts of the Aust United States of Austria, Hungary. Oh, no political reforms. Okay. Several events let you decide the political changes happening within the United States of Austria-Hungary. We also have a diplomatic effort. We need to end the depression first. We have industrial policy. We got some sort of stock market crash. And we have legacy of the Weltkrieg. I'm going to go ahead and see and do political reforms first. The politics in a country are not balanced fairly. It is time for some desperate reforms before it is too late. Hopefully we don't screw things up and cause a whole lot of issues. And as you can see, we own Libya. Hmm. And the Suez. And we are actually in our own faction, and we have actually the Eastern Horn of Africa. Cool. Now we have the Commonwealth over here. Is America in the Commonwealth? No. Commonwealth is just the British people. We have the German Federation with the Benelux, or I guess just Belgium, and Poland, and Ostland, or D the United Baltic Duchy, as well as White Ruthenia. But we do have the Ukraine <laughs> with us. So, take it for what you will. And we have four research slots. Pretty normal. Let's grab some production. Cool. We're gonna grab some construction. Also very cool. We're gonna grab some uh, electronic mechanical engineering. Awesome. And what else are we gonna make? You know what, we might go with tanks. I might go with tanks with this campaign because tanks are cool, right? Tanks are awesome. Let's go and build ourselves up. I don't trust any of these lands except the Austrian lands. So let's build it in there. Tyrol, maybe Upper Austria, Slovenia. I don't mind Slovenia. Gras, Wien. Oh wait, I'm gonna do Wien first. Cool. And what do we have for divisions? Local garrisons look, ah, okay-ish. Get you low, get you high. Alpen, Alpen Jäger divisions, cool. Infantry divisions looking pretty, kind of generic for German major, I guess we'll say. Deploy them in Wien, we don't have that much manpower. And division-wise, what do we got? A lot of garrison divisions, obviously. You guys, we got some motorized, maybe some tanks. Pull those guys out, oops. My bad. Pull those guys out. We've got two divisions. And the rest are just infantry and stuff like that. Uh, whew. We have definitely got a lot of guys here. I'm going to go ahead and just let time go on just a little bit first. Just to see what happens. So we've got 19 divisions of garrisons. Which... Mm, I don't know. I, I have a... a oh, we have Malta too. I might want to take these guys home with me. Well, that's a thick Bulgaria. Holy cow. Destiny of Bulgaria. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of unique. Sort of. Cool. Romania's not looking great, obviously, as they shouldn't. We have the Soviet Republic of Transcaucasia here, led by uh, Mr. Joey. I don't have a non-aggression pact with the French Commune. Okay. The Stalin Constitution reestablished the USSR. Second Civil War's ended. Oh, the French Commune's over here, too. Led by Torres. Support the Radical Front. Oh. Je suis le déluge. So they're going to go with support the Radical Front. They're going to go full commie. Woo Italy, huh? Retake Algeria. Take back Alsace Lorraine. Kind of cool. What else we got down here? Some mountaineers. Uh, you know, I'm going to suck all. Divide you guys in half. There you go. I have a good feeling by the time this campaign ends, we'll be at war with Germany, so. We've got to be ready. Fast planner, I like that. Offensive. I don't like old guard, though. Conrad von Hutendorf. You must have done really bad in the war because you're still alive here, but your defense your skills are not very good. Look at Anton. 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 Uh, let's see. Call Egosier. Really good. Promotion costs, but less experience. Alfred Yodel. He's Austrian? Or maybe he's... I don't know. I, I don't know that much about 
each of these guys individually. Ludwig Hulgath. Hello. Ooh. What do I do with these guys? I'm just gonna leave you kind of there for now. You guys can sort of be like colonial divisions, but we'll see. If I need to call up another, raise you guys up and just call you to arms, and really actually use you on the front line, so be it. Rudolf Stogersteiner von Steinstetten. Wow, he's got a triple S in there. Okay, so we're gonna put you with someone like. He looks kind of grumpy, Theodore. Ah, Joseph, Joseph Ferdinand. Look at that beard, holy crud. Alright, so let's let time go on a little bit more, maybe, but even though I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it. Because I wanna see if we have an Air Force. Yeah, we do. Not bad. One, two. You know what I'm gonna say. This looks like a mess. Goodbye. So, since we're here, let's let it go to four speed. One, two, three, four. There we go. Actually, I might actually train planes this time. One, two. And then 100. Uh, we could use. What are we actually producing? Guns, support equipment, towed artillery, light tanks, that's fine. Fighter 1. Uh, you know, I'm going to say no to tactical bombers for this campaign. So we're going to do that and do that too. There you go. Do that. Do that. That'd be fine. Cool. And with ships. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope these are not bad ships. I hope they're not. Subs, huh? Political reforms. The politics in our country are not balanced fairly. It is time for some desperate reforms before it's too late. We don't want to show weakness to our enemies. Well, that's great. We lose stability. Hey, we already have, uh, end of war armor cards. They're not bad to make. We'll leave one factory on there for now. And we, we're building up civilian factories, which is great. Ooh. Start of the February payment. In 1918, the USSR signed the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk, where the former Central Powers would withdraw themselves from the Welt Creek. The Soviets lost a lot of territory to the Central Powers and were forced to pay monthly reparations towards the German Empire, Austria-Hungary, and Bulgaria. King George V dies. Ooh. Oh, Okay. And we have a couple ships here, which is actually kind of nice. Go ahead, so you guys, let's take you first. And then take you guys, and split you guys in half. And train. Nice. Not bad. Alright, let's get the ships going. What do we have here? We've got six battleships. That's not bad. Some of them are kind of old, pre-dreadnoughts. Ooh. Oh, well. oh, God, how many heavy cruisers do we have? Oh, my goodness. Have, oh, their armor. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell me you don't have armor on them. Oh, they barely have armor. Oh, my goodness. They could really pierce themselves and just destroy themselves. Oh, that's not good. And we have at least some light cruisers. Some of them are okay. Some of them are like, ah. So the Russians have just sent us the Brest Litovsk payment for this month. Cool. Great. We love getting paid. And then you guys are what over here? <sighs> Do that. The power of the Kaiser. Ever since Austrian and Hungarian monarchs united, they've had total power in the country. That was until the Great War caused the Kaiser to hand over most of the power, or hand over most of the power, to the parliament. But the Kaiser is still the man in, char in charge in terms of adopting and dismantling laws. Should we keep the tradition or adopt some changes? To transfer even more power to the Reichsrat, the Kaiser will get reduced power, democratic focuses, or the Kaiser should lead the country like always. Unlock the authoritarian. I want to go authoritarian, because I don't want to play as a democracy. Yeah, that's cool and all. Even we are led by the conservative part, or the democratic party. Conservative Partei Österreich Ungarn. We have Marxist party, House of Habsburg Lothringen. Yeah, I don't want to play as a democracy, I'll be honest, just because it's so much fun not being a democracy. It really is. Daily Marxism as support. All right, if you want an uprising, well, I guess we're ready. Just don't kill me off too quickly. That's all I ask. Using some fuel, so be it. And what do we have over here? Oh, Sub Subrinos? Yeah, you're going to need someone else to do this for subs. Uh, for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you to do that. But actually, I'm going to split you guys in half first. There you go. That's a little better. Uh, Anton House. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech in an empire is not a right. People are not allowed to give any negative opinion about any of the House of Habsburg's Lothlingen members. If they do so, they will get punished severely. Different regions are not allowed to speak other independence. Should we change this way dealing with people's opinions? They should be allowed to give their opinions. Uh, the House of Habsburg Lothlingen should be protected. Uh, you know what? We already said that... Oh, look at that. A multi-ethnic nation. That looks really bad. Because it is. Wow. House of Habsburg. Victory of the Weltkrieg. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Declining economy. That's not good either. Austro-Hungarian supremacy, that's not bad. As well as February abreast with the payments received. Cool. Alright, so honestly, we, we're going to keep our power, so let, you know what? Let people give their opinions. You know, we might have absolute authority, but they can still give their opinions, you know. That's okay with me. Uh, let's see that. Cut you down, you guys down in half. And I'm going to cut you guys further down in half as well. There you go. This is looking a little bit more manageable. And you should be led by... Fourthly position. 
Uh, that is Capture Ship Armor. I want to use him, but he's... Horthy's just too good to pass up, and I want him to get as much experience as possible. Uh, it only costs 10 political power. Felix Rail. There you go. Payment received. Russians just sent us a payment for this month. How much political power do we get? 0.8? Okay, well, whatever. And riots in Bosnia and Croatia. Several people have attacked factories in Bosnia and Croatia. The local police estimated that about 100 people have been arrested for the crimes. Guys, you're not supposed to do that. Freedom of religion. Although freedom of religion is an official fundamental right in our country, improvement can definitely be made. Currently, only Christians have full freedom of religion. They can choose their own version of Christianity, but there's also 200,000 Jews and Muslims living in our empire. Shall we give them the freedom of religion? They're also people. Uh, they're just 200,000 living in our country. Um. Hmm. I'm going authoritarian. We did give, give them freedom of speech. You know, I guess we'll give them... They're also people, I suppose. Maybe. I guess this time. Oh, we have a faction, too. So, like I said, we have the, the uh, Eastern Horn of Africa. And there's actually German confederation. This is Deutsch Middle Africa down here. Led by von Tovorbeck. So, that's actually really cool. Invite German settlers. Oh, stay loyal to Germany. Oppose Germany. Oh, my goodness. This looks really cool. Maybe. Maybe someday. Oh, oh I didn't click on that. I was just scrolling through the tree. Oh, crap. My apologies about that. I should have read that or stopped moving around. Because I want to see this tree, but... I want to play as Deutsch Middle Africa someday. Holy cow. And South Africa looks quite a bit smaller. Major riots in Prague. Once again, a riot occurred this time in the city of Prague, but during the riot, roughly 20 people died when the police tried to step the, stop the riots on the factories. Not again. Um, it seems like maybe we, they didn't give them equality. I don't know. I, I, I wish I didn't, I didn't click it. I know I didn't click it, but maybe the mouse clicked it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If they want to break down, then so be it. We'll kill every single one of these guys off then. Oh, and also these tanks here, too. Payment received again. Cool. We keep getting paid. Love it. Cool. And now we should do power to the Habsburgs to get more weekly war support, as well as more daily authoritarian support. Because we can revitalize the Empire, and then we'll have military youth, general mobilization, which gives us a partial mobilization and reunite the Empire, so we can remove multi-ethnic Empire or nation. That'll be good. Total annexation of Montenegro. Uh, colonial industry developments. Research improvements. Practice Suez. Fortify the rock. Oh, we own, we own Gibraltar? Ooh. Industrial policy. Because to do this, we need to have end the depression, which is down over here. But we're not in a depression currently, so we're going to have a depression very soon. Let's go and do power to the Habsburgs to get more weekly war support. It is clear to all that the best way to stabilize the country is in its current state. We'll also, have to be, we'll also have to have a strong leader who can unite us all. We should return power to the Habsburgs so they can bring our nation back to its former glory. I don't know about you, but we're looking pretty good. Successful reforms. Hey, look! Average political reforms. We lose political power, get more stability, and ideology drift defense for about three years. Okay, could be worse. Who, do we, who can we select here? I always like going with... Yeah, actually, Arthur Sayus in Quart is not bad for stability. I always like getting silent recourses just because 15% is pretty good. Riots in Budapest and Krakow? Now, Budapest and Krakow are the victims of the riots that have hit our country over the past few months. Although damage was less compared to previous times, it still shows our stability issues. Oh, well, I don't really care, to be honest with you. Yeah, technocrat, huh? That's not bad. End of the depression, elusive gentleman, not bad. An economist, cool. Financial expert, war industrialist. Staunch monarchist, that's cool. And of course we could choose Julius Yilam. We got paid again. Do we keep losing more political power because of that, or is it just like every month? Uh, go to disperse industry because I love disperse industry, mostly because it gets it's dispersed. I don't know. I just do it anyways because I like it. Yeah, we're looking good on artillery pieces, which is good because we're going to need a converter, guys. Does anyone need? Oh yeah, you guys definitely need to change or change train. Oh my goodness. But that's not the only places in Africa. Oh, wow, look at that. Turkmenistan. That's looking nice and thick. Because we own more colonies than just Africa. We own the East Indies. Of course, the Netherlands owned down here, but we took over Malaysia. Led by Ludwig von Trapp. Price Neutrality Act. Very cool. Oh, wait. We're in this... Oh, wait. We're in the same alliance? Oh, Italy's with us? Oh, I didn't realize Italy was with us. And Serbia and Montenegro? Confederacy of Austria-Hungary. That's kind of cool. More payment? Always great to have more payment. Yeah, I didn't realize Italy was with us. Who are they led by? Also, Savoy. The Victor Emmanuel III makes sense. But yeah, we have these guys with us. They are democratic. Power to the Habsburgs. They have a generic focus tree, but that's really cool that we actually have them with us. Good amount of manpower. Two Malaysian infantry brigades. Kind of trash. That's okay. Uh, to do this, we need 40% more support. So, we're going to go next with colonial policy. It's time we review and modernize our colonial policy. And I'm going to go ahead and do this, even though 
a lot of people don't like it when I do this, I always say that, but now we get 0.92 a day. Better. Much better. Uh, yes, that's good. Construction one is done. Better artillery. Let's go grab that. And then we're going to grab, what else? Reinforce rate. Radio. Yes, please. Good. And we are getting some more army XP, which is very nice. Burma exists. That's disgusting. Oh, wait. You, uh... Bangladesh is a colony. Whoa! Okay, that's different. China looks... Pretty much where it does in the base game, except we have Sichuan here. The, the Shanxi, Yan, Klik, Ma Klik. Oh, yeah, the commies aren't here. Oh. Okay. Siam is looking... I don't know. They're looking a little thicker than normal in my mind. Thank you for the payment. 0.87. Start of the August payment. Jesus. Let's see, where is it? House... We want to get rid of that. We want 10% more political power gain, 20% more stability, especially... Uh, declining economy, we'll fix that. Supremacy, uh, power of the Habsburgs, and yeah. This payment stuff, can I stop? I mean, I, I, I like the consumer goods factors, don't get me wrong. But I want 0.35 more political power today that we could have used. Ugh, hurts me. It really hurts. But how are we already 16 minutes into this video? This ma doesn't make any sense. It feels like we j literally just started like a second ago. But a colonial policy? Oh, thank you for the payment. Which kind of hurts us. Oh my goodness. Why does the cost keep going up? Colonial policy, very nice. Total annexation of Montenegro. We hurt our stability. We annex them. We quarrel them. I don't want to do that yet. It seems like this could really provoke things in the Balkans. So let's just reinforce the empire first. We, I like stability. Reinforcing our colonial territories will help us assert our direct control over them. Great. And you know what? It's... Oh, crap. That's not good. It's only 56 day focus. And I want to do this because I want to get rid of the one thing that we've got that hurts us. Legacy of the Great... Or the Veldkrieg, we should really say. Um, oh, there it is. We gotta get down here. Military rearmament. So, on the early morning of August 3rd, the biggest stock market crash in the world opened with yet another decline of value compared to the previous week. But this time it was so big, lots of people started to sell their stocks to avoid the complete loss of their investment. This caused the stock market to plunge and every, loss, and every stock lost its value. Minutes after this, dozens of people ran to the local banks, trying desperately to save their holdings before the bank went bankrupt. Several other groups lost all their holdings and became homeless. Companies within Austria-Hungary also, also lost their holdings and they became worthless and many are facing bankruptcy. An economic depression that the world has never seen before is about to begin. We remove the declining economy, and we get stock market crash, where I can't build things, we lose pretty much almost all of our stability. Oh my goodness. Wait, so we basically lose 70% stability. Jesus Christ, yeah, I'm not touching that. Nope. You don't touch it, so it doesn't happen to you. It doesn't hurt you. It can't hurt you if I can't read. Okay, so the Oslo Reichshof Bank closed to bankruptcy. After the stock market crash in Vienna collapsed a few days ago, many people were rushing to the banks to attempt to save their remaining assets. The situation has escalated to the point where the Oslo Reichshof Bank is close to bankruptcy. Uh, the government does not intervene in some way, the bank will collapse and take other banks down with it. But there has been some debate with it, what we should do with the bank. Close it for now. Guarantee private holdings. Uh, bail out the bank. I'm going to say guarantee private holdings, because that's... Uh, it's not great, but... That's probably what we're going to have to do. I'm going to guarantee. So there's still some sort of consumer confidence in the market. At least a little bit. Hey, look, more division. Good. I don't trust the Germans. I don't trust anyone except the Italians, maybe. I don't even trust our entire country yet, either. Ah! Cancelled! You cancelled the thing! Ah, actually, we lost 10% consumer goods. We can't even make anything now. But hey, get more political power, maybe? The Brussels Litovsk payments for the Russian Republic have been cancelled for a limited period of time to allow them to recover from the Vienna stock market crash. We've demanded that their payments will have to be continued by the Russian Republic afterwards. We can understand the struggle. Cancel remaining payments for four months. Uh, okay, cool. And I have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. From Austria-Hungary. Wait, the lower classes guarantee or oppose the guarantee of private holdings. Several groups of lower class workers have gathered in Vienna to protest against the recent decision of the government to guarantee private holdings of the Oslo Reichshof Bank from its citizens. They claim this will further increase the panic within Austria-Hungary. Does this help at all? Wait, what? In my mind, I'd be I'd be thinking like, okay, the monarchy is going to guarantee that no matter what happens to the bank, your money is still going to be there. Like, what? Like, I want to instill confidence in the consumer at least a little bit that, know, that they know that this bank will not collapse that they still have their money, no matter how how worthless it might be. But they still have their money. <laughs> Woo. Well, that's not good. Actually, I'm sure Germany's been hit by this too, right? Guarantee the... See, they did the same thing. Guarantee private holdings. I did that, and I get blowback from that? Come on, man. Um, They also get workers... Oh, they get workers striking El Sassel Hawthorne again, but... Actually, does Germany have a unique focus tree? Oh, boy. Seems like I'm going to have to play as Germany again very soon. I don't know. There's so many times you can play as Germany. Germany is such a focal point of so many mods. And I love it. Oh man, yeah, I've got, I've got to play as Jimmy someday. 
Strikes in Vienna and Budapest. Come on. Strikes have begun to erupt in most of the factories in the cities of Vienna and Budapest. The strikes most likely have erupted due, due, due to the bankruptcy of many companies in Vienna and Budapest. These need to be dealt with fast before they spread around to other cities in the environment. This will all blow over. Well, show our support to the royal marriage of Wallace Simpson and Edward VIII. Why would we do that? Well, okay then. Revitalize the empire. Yeah, we might want to do that. Uh, oh, let's do the aftermath of the stock market crash. So the, now, the initial chaos of the stock market crash has died down. We can start looking at the long-term consequences and the crash will have on our economy, politics, and society. That would be good. That would be very, very good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I want to do that. Does the UK actually have a unique focus tree as well? That's kind of cool. Northern England, huh? Oh, the fallen government. That's not good. We thought we were doing bad. They have a fallen government. It is still 36, so let's grab some... We could do some extraction. Land doctrine. Ooh. I, I do want to use tanks in this campaign. I do want to emphasize tanks as much as possible. So I'm actually going to go war mobile warfare doctrine with this one. Cool. Interwar artillery. Disperse industry. Uh, let's see. We're good on planes, actually. We have no carriers, which is fine. We probably want to at least keep one thing on ships at all times. So let's get some inclined belt armor schemes. So we got one there. And then we're going to grab some of this. Because this is from 1918. Literally 18 years ago. So... Let's fix that up, shall we? Strikes spread to Prague. Like expected, the strikes that started in Vienna and Budapest have now spread to Prague. The government has already start started discussing the strikes and how to solve them. What, what do you want me to do? There's nothing I can do about that. Strike and then what? What do you solve? Russian Republic continues the payments. Okay. We already have successfully re received the first payment from them. They kept their promise. Cool. Just stop hurting my... Oh, why do you hurt my political power? Please don't. Please. I mean, yeah, we get some more consumer goods, but that doesn't even help us right now. No factories are even assigned. Oh, my goodness. Actually, what is your template here? 12 combat width for tanks? Oh, you have mo infantry? Why do you have infantry on that? 18 combat width? That's not bad. Actually, motorized have motorized recon companies. That's funny. Uh, let's see. Still 36, I guess. Uh, air doctrine might not be bad. Uh, we have close air support. Oh, let's go ahead and grab flying formations, because we can. And then maybe we'll do some support company stuff, because we don't have that much unlocked. Uh, actually, we're doing okay on fuel. How's... How are the ships doing? Look at that. Thank you. Come right here. There we go. There you go. Oh, come on. Train, please. I'll take you. Uh, thank you, destroyers. And throw you right there. Cool. Your turn. Go ahead. Ships. We got two dockyards to repair stuff. And let's see. Do we bail out the national companies, which are just for 150 days, or work for the workless? Oh, uh, we lose political power. Let's see. So we can control inflation. 15%, 15%, 10, 10. 30%, 30%, 15, 15. This is the market. Careful investments. Initial recovery. Oh, this is, oh, this is 105, 90, 70, 56. So basically, if you go down to the left side, it's faster than work for the workless. National broadcast. It seems like... Well, I don't know. So basically, you lose 5% stability and more... And so basically, you hit your stability, hit your political power for a little bit longer. Uh, or you just get those negative or those debuffs so you can get through it quicker. For over here, this is 70. 15, 15, 10, 10, 15, 15. So 15, 15, 10, 10. So the benefits on the, on the right side, though, are better, even though it does take a little bit longer. Let's go work for the workless. Let's try that the longer one. With 3.5 million people having lost their jobs as a result of the Depression, we cannot let these citizens lose faith in the government. We should invest in our remaining resources in getting these jobs back again. So even though this takes longer, the benefits are better overall. At least they should be. And then again, I didn't really look at this too carefully. We also have national broadcasts, which shouldn't be too bad. It gives us more stability. Dominions break with the crown. Empires in crisis. Oh, no. Oh boy. How to handle strikes. Now that the strikes have been going on for a month now, the government has started to come up with several ways to solve them. Suppress them. Make an agreement with them. Suppress them. Wait. I can suppress them twice. I'm going to make an agreement with them. Let's make an agreement. Let's see if we can come together. Even though we are still on the house of Habsburg of we and we have absolute rule, basically, kind of, uh, that doesn't mean we can't listen to the people. Okay, what the heck is going on? Why does this keep going up? <laughs> Why do you keep taking my pee-pee away? Don't take my pee-pee. Terrible. Hmm. We have successful agreement with the strikers. So, after days of negotiating, or ten days, with the strikers in Vienna, Budapest, and Prague, the government and the strikers have finally come to a successful agreement. The strikers have already gone back to work. Okay, for three months we lose some consumer goods, which we weren't even using them anyways. 
And we got 5% more suitability for a little bit, which helps a little bit. Develop oil fields in the Sierra. Cool. Very cool. Losing some more fuel, but whatever. Alright, are you guys good? Yes, you are. Boom, boom, boom. Or boom, boom as much as you can. Boom, ba da boom, ba da boom, ba da boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Boom, boom. Both the fighters, that's fine. Uh, close air support, your fighters. Thank you. And a boom. And we got. This is seriously getting starting to be become a little bit more annoying. Can you please stop paying me? <laughs> of all things, I, I mean, that's yeah, cool and all. Alexander Kerensky, I'm surprised you're not dead at the beginning of 1936, but you know, that's just me. Oh, I gotta play as Russia. Oh, I've gotta play as Russia. Restore the old borders, protect of the Balkans. Restore the alliance with Austria Hungary. Ooh. We can join us or join Britain. Let's see. Does the Ukraine have a unique focus tree? Because they are under us with Vasily von Habsburg Lothringen. Right, is that Lothringen up there? I have no idea. Uh, yep, von Lothringen. Von Habsburg Lothringen. I just looked at that. Why did I look at that again? I don't know. Poland, the four year plan. Oh, do you have a. Oh, don't. Oh, they have the, they have the base vanilla tree. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, Polish tree. They really need to re look at that. Uh, why? Why? Paradox? Why? Uh, let's grab this too. Actually, we can actually make some pretty good ships then. Alright, so no, 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 I, oh, I, I always do this the way I set up my navy, because it almost always works if, effectively. It's probably not the best way you could set things up, but I found it to be pretty darn, pretty darn good, I'm gonna, not gonna lie. Armor 2, that's good, uh, we can't really do much about that, you can keep anti-air on there, get rid of that garbage. Let's see, choose. You know what? Let's grab one of these. And you already have submarine warfare. I don't ever choose to put this on, because I always like getting more anti-air. But this is, isn't a like, great light cruiser, but it'll, it'll work. It'll work for what we need. That'll be nice. How about these interwar heavy hulls? Eh, oh my gosh, stop making me lose political power. But happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. It's going to be a very interesting year for us. There's not really much I can do to change this that much. I can throw on some more of this, but, eh. Anything else around here? No. Hey, we're making some armored cars. That's nice. Actually, that's very, very good. Make some more uh, light, light tanks. They're not bad. We're out of fuel. What else is new? MGs. Let's grab some dispersed industry, too. For more output. Thank you. And after this, uh, ooh, I kind of want more army XP. I really do want more army XP. Early mobilization might be okay with, but I really want to get partial mobilization, so we're going to wait to do that. To revitalize the empire and then get down to military youth and then get to the general mobilization. So, so I think the well, what do we have over here? Anything interesting? Anything different? I always like mods that make their ministers and production companies a little bit different, something unique. Like if you like, I know in the Thousand Week Reich, you get a lot of some good benefits, but it costs you consumer goods factories. I, I kind of like something like that. Ooh, Doctor Lothar Rendulek. very cool, very cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the nuclear scientist now. Military theorists, you might as well. I want more daily army XP game. We need that right now. So, work for the workless. And then we shall do. Ooh, stop paying me. <laughs> Industrial development. We could get more factories this way, but I'm going to go through this first. National broadcast stability. Let's get some stability first, because we need it. Yeah, we need it. So, many regions within the empire are not informed about the reforms implemented by the government to overcome the depression. The citizens in these regions, therefore, have little trust in the government. By introducing national broadcasts across the entire empire, we can boost their morale. Yes, 5% more consumer goods. That would be great. And even though we are, the SPD is victorious. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we lost that stability. Authoritarians, they got some Marxists, they got some nationalists, they got some authoritarians, and they got some democratic peoples. At least we have a non-aggression pact with them. France denounces the Treaty of Vienna. The French have just announced that they will no longer follow any of the restrictions from the Treaty of Vienna. Shall we intervene? Issue economic sanctions or just ignore it? Ignore it, we have our own problems. Issue economic sanctions. Uh... We have our own I don't want to lose political power. So be it. To hell with the French. Coffee's pretty good, though. And we're still out of fuel, but whatever. I don't really care. We can only get 0.33 a day. You know, I'm, I'm glad I got the, the silent recourse, because that could be very bad. We could actually be losing political power. I mean, we probably wouldn't be, but we could have been if we chose not to uh, do what we did. More construction speed, that'd be good, even though we can't even make anything. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Come on, what else we got here? Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, yes, going down, going down. Yes, yes, yes. Small house of Habsburg Lothringen. That'd be quite delightful. Quite delightful. Hey, but at least we got 
we're pretty good on almost everything. Even guns, we're doing pretty well on. Even though I do want to adjust the divisions to make them at least 20 combat width at a minimum. Hopefully 40 combat width eventually. And actually make these tank divisions actually worthwhile. Hopefully the enemies don't have a lot of anti-tank. Actually, did the Ottoman Empire have Phoenix Focus Street expand the Iron Web? Ooh. Oh, they do! I gotta play as the Ottoman... I've never played as the Ottoman Empire on this channel so far. At the time of this recording. Edward VIII empowers the King's Party. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to play as the Ottoman Empire because I actually have some thumbnails made for them, but... Does Greece have Unique Focus Tree? They do! Oh, I gotta play as the Greeks as well! Oh my goodness, look at that. Restore the Monarchy. Bring an end to the Ottoman Empire. Res restoration of the Byzantine Empire. I've got to... I've got to play as Greece. Oh my goodness. If I can restore the Byzantine Empire, please, please, please. Please, 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 please. please. And we're almost done with National Broadcasts. And then... Ooh! Colonial Economy Improvements. I'm kind of surprised we don't have any Colonial... See, I was just about to say, I'm surprised that we don't have anyone trying to get independence during these economic times, but Italy is just like, okay, screw you guys, I'll see you later. But anyways, let's do agricultural subsidies. The agricultural sector was one of the sectors that got hit very hard by the Depression. By supporting them with subsidies, we can prevent more farmers from going bankrupt, which is a good, good thing. But, unfortunately, that's pretty much all the time for that we have today, my friends. However, I do have one question for you. When we do industrial policy tomorrow, or in the next episode, but really... Should we go down local concentrated industry or national dispersed industry? You get three civilian factories here. You get two over here. Develop Trento, one civilian, one naval dockyard. Four military factories or four civilian factories. A four-year plan. Doesn't look bad. Develop Transylvania looks okay. Uh, build the Transylvania Budapest Railway versus national highways. which This gives you more railroads. Oh, railroads? Infrastructure. Military factories, civilian factories, ship stuff, civilian. University of Vienna, or University of Budapest. Nuclear arms race, or our first year engines. Let me know. Should we do a local concentrated industry or the national dispersed industry? Regardless, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully pull out of this economic depression. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.